So let's explore how a student might start creating their spooky soundscape by using BandLab's in-house online samples. For this example, I'll imagine I'm a student and I've enrolled into the class my teacher has created. So let's click on here. Imagine this is my class. And at the top of the screen, there's a little icon, a little folder with a note on. My library. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to start a personal project by going to the Mix Editor. I've got a number of choices, but where I want to start is with the Band Labs in-house loop pack. So I'm going to go to Browse Loops. There's hundreds and hundreds to choose from, but let's do a quick shortcut by clicking on the magnifying glass and typing in Horror. And up come some useful starting points. Let's try cinematic horror. I can audition it. Sounds perfect. Now I'm going to click on the writing. And that will bring up all the samples, all the sounds, all the effects that are in this pack. And there's a huge choice. So allow your students to go through them and listen to sounds they like. I like the sound of that, so I'm simply going to click on it, hold down the mouse, and drag it into this area here where it says drop a loop or an audio MIDI file. And now I'm going to drag it to the left so it starts at bar one. So I've just dropped in a piece of music that is in fact 31 seconds long, so it's too long, but that's okay. I know I'm going to end around there. So that's started it off and I must keep consulting the, and I must keep looking at the animation to make sure I'm being in sync with the pictures, with the video. So what else could I add? Some whispers. quite scary. Let's go to the next line underneath, the next track, and I'll just drop in a sound there. Again, it's quite long. Could that be the beginning? Let's try. I like that. Is there any other sounds that might be useful? That sounds nice. It's got some little piano notes which are creating an interesting spooky atmosphere. So let's drag that in. I might turn this up a little bit by going to the volume here. Another thing I could do, of course, is turn the other tracks down a little bit. There we go. Let's have a listen. So I'm going to be looking for when that witch appears in the video and find out at what second it starts, so I know when to bring in a sound effect somewhere along here. So let's play the video and the music. There she is. And that's at about seven seconds. It's 008 here, but she's halfway through. So if I rewind 
the track here to about 7, 6.9, 6.9 seconds. I can put in a sound effect here that shows that the witch has zoomed in on her broomstick. So I'm looking for a whooshy sound, something that signifies that's what's happening in the video. And here's where I might go back to the Halloween Spooktacular music project and go to sound samples, music and effects to use in your compositions and soundscapes and go to external links to royalty free music and sound effects. And how about 59 royalty free witch sound effects? So let's click on there and we come into Pixabay, which is a great place to find free sound effects. There's a witch. Okay, that's quite nice. So I can download that, save it in my samples. What else have we got? Ooh, quite like that one. A whoosh fly. There it is. Let's save that. So we've got enough to be going on with. So let's get back to Band Lab and now I could drop a loop or an audio MIDI file. If I click here, it goes to my folders and I'm looking for my Halloween folder. There it is. Whoosh fly. Double click. There it is. So if I'm to put that at seven seconds, so let's rewind this to seven, 6.9. So let's put that there. So I'm going to play the project so far here and then go to the video and click it. Okay, that was perhaps a little late, but you get the idea. We could just move it around where we wanted it to be. So we've got a whoosh. We've got a witch. Let's finish off with some of some representation of these little ghosties rising up. So I found a synth horror film pack in BandLab, and there's one here I like. A little arpeggio, so I'm going to drag that in, and we'll have it. towards the end. Let's rewind the film and play the music. Here we go. way too late so let's put the whoosh back a bit nearer and this is a bit slow now because it takes the tempo of the track which is 61 beats per minute but we can change the tempo by right clicking and audio stretch let's go to more and speed it up so it's the normal speed which is about one one time. So let's apply that and see. Let's also move it along. So it just comes after the swoosh. Let's have a listen. Okay, let's see if it fits with the video. Rewind and play. That's where the video ends at about 18 seconds. So we've got a little bit of time and I think what I'm looking for now is some of those witch 
cackled. So once again, I'm going to click on here where I can go to my sample folder and see if we have a witch laughing. So let's double click that. Let's have a listen to her. Let's move it to the right place, which is maybe around there. See how that sounds. Let's see if that works. I'm going to make that a bit louder as well. So I think I might put that on a on a new track and then turn the new track up really loud. Let's rewind again and play the video. video ends there so I'm going to bring it a little bit forward so at 18 the cackles ended so that's a very quick example of how you might use BandLab loops and external loops to create a soundscape to a video